A common ingredient in your energy drink may be doing more than giving you a short-term boost. It could be accelerating leukemia, progression deep inside your bone marrow. Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today we're looking at taurine, a popular amino acid found in energy drinks and supplements, and its surprising role in both health and disease. And I'm Alara Sky. Taurine has been shown to improve energy metabolism and even slow aging in animals. But new research reveals a darker side. When leukemia is present, taurine may help cancer cells grow and spread faster. A recent study published in Nature looks specifically at how leukemia stem cells, particularly in aggressive forms like acute myeloid leukemia, rely on taurine. Researchers found that these cancer cells use taurine to activate a key growth pathway known as MTOR. That MTOR pathway acts like a master switch for cell growth and energy use. When taurine is present, it flips that switch, giving cancer cells the fuel they need to multiply. Without taurine, that growth signal weakens significantly. In the study, Scientists found that certain bone marrow cells actually began producing more taurine as leukemia advanced. The cancer cells then pulled in the taurine through a transport channel called TAUT, short for the taurine transporter axis. And when researchers blocked that tout channel, the cancer cells couldn't use taurine. The result was dramatic. Leukemia progression slowed, and survival in mice increased by up to six times. Even with taurine still present in the body, the cells couldn't absorb it without tout. When the opposite was done, when researchers increased taurine, leukemia spread faster. Mice given extra taurine died up to three times sooner. This makes clear that taurine's role is more than passive. It's actively driving cancer metabolism in these models. Drug-resistant leukemia cells had even more TAUT transporters. When researchers disabled TAUT in those resistant cells, the cancer stopped growing, even in lab settings and when transferred into new hosts. That shows how essential the TAUT transporter is to leukemia cell survival. Blocking it may offer a powerful strategy to stop the disease from advancing. The researchers also found that taurine isn't just a source of nutrients. It's a signal. Inside leukemia cells, taurine directed the MTOR growth switch to specific parts of the cell, enabling rapid energy production and division. Without that taurine signal, the MTOR pathway remained inactive. Even when scientists tried to feed the cells other energy sources like pyruvate, they couldn't fully recover without taurine. At this point, it's important to clarify that while this research shows clear effects in animals, elevated taurine levels in human leukemia patients haven't been confirmed yet. More studies are needed before drawing direct conclusions about human cancer treatment. Still, the implications are significant especially considering how taurine is often consumed in large amounts through energy drinks and synthetic supplements. So, let's take a step back and look at the other side of taurine's story. Taurine also plays a beneficial role in health and longevity. A separate study published in Science found that taurine levels decline with age across species, including mice, monkeys, and humans. And when researchers gave taurine to middle-aged animals, it improved nearly every aspect of health. Lifespan increased by up to 25%. Strength and mobility improved. Metabolism became more efficient. Taurine supported bone strength, reduced body fat, and protected the brain from aging-related decline. It also improved immune function and mitochondrial performance in monkeys, suggesting broad cellular benefits. Researchers found that low taurine levels were linked to conditions like obesity, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and chronic inflammation, all of which erode quality of life and longevity. Even one exercise session boosted taurine and related compounds in the bloodstream. That connection helps explain why physical activity can slow aging. It elevates compounds like taurine that support cellular repair and resilience. Taurine didn't just improve visible markers of aging, it reduced DNA damage, preserved telomeres, and extended stem cell function. These are deep, cellular-level changes that affect how your body ages and repairs itself. 
Interestingly, taurine extended lifespan in animals with complex organ systems, but not in simple organisms like yeast. That suggests its anti-aging effects require systems capable of coordinated repair, something only found in multicellular life forms. The study's authors concluded that taurine loss isn't just a symptom of aging. It may be one of its causes. Replacing it restored many functions lost over time. So the question becomes, how do you use taurine wisely? It has potential for supporting longevity, but in the context of cancer, especially leukemia, it may do harm. Here's the first recommendation. Cut out energy drinks and synthetic taurine blends. These products deliver concentrated doses of taurine, often paired with caffeine and other stimulants. They are linked to heart issues, mood changes, and neurological effects. If you've been diagnosed with leukemia or are at high risk, pause taurine supplements. Even low doses could feed cancer cells by fueling their growth switch. In that context, less is more and natural regulation matters. Instead, focus on getting taurine from whole foods like grass-fed beef, pasture-raised eggs, and shellfish. These provide taurine in the balanced form your body is designed to use. Also, don't use taurine to mask fatigue. If your energy is low, the solution starts with repairing mitochondrial function, not reaching for chemical stimulants. Daily movement, quality sleep, and nutrient-rich meals support your energy at the source. If you do use taurine supplements for any reason, track how your body responds. Start small, keep a log, and pay attention to changes in sleep, focus, digestion, and mood. If something feels off, reduce or discontinue. Taurine isn't inherently harmful or beneficial. It's potent. And like anything potent, it should be used with intention and awareness. The goal is balance, not stimulation. Your challenge this week is to examine your sources of taurine. Read the labels on your supplements and drinks. If you're consuming energy drinks or synthetic taurine regularly, stop. Then look for ways to support your health with taurine-rich whole foods instead. Thank you for watching, Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.